question, Bunny. I literally have to ask my phone for permission to record for my computer. I mean, this is something that most, I think, entrepreneurs that live in the middle of nowhere are probably dealing with. It's probably not just me, although I did call Tesla about the solar panels, and they basically told me that I was SOL because of my location. So the power wall there's things? That too. Yeah. Yep. You know, so, you can get the power walls without the um, solar panels. You just have to power them through paid power, but then you have backup. Doesn't that, that defeat go, the purpose? Well, no, because I think you wanted it in case you're, you had downtime. So like, so, do you intentionally have your branding and face in the background so that everybody knows you're a Forbes contributor? <laughs> Can thanks we just the, get that out of the way? <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for your time Damon today, Damon Burns, Forbes <laughs> contributor. It doesn't say Forbes back there. All right. I don't know, I don't know when people are going to start listening to this, but now I'm on the defense here, Bunny. <laughs> 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 well, you've got a guitar. Do you know how to play guitar? Or is that No, just you know what's awesome? funny? You know what's funny? No. So you can't see like right there, right off to the side. I have. So I bought that one for me show just us, the other show week. Us, show and us, then show I bought, us. well... Let's see. I can't stretch the cables too far. Let's see. We're getting there. Can you see it? Can you see yeah. it? Yeah. So I bought yeah. one, one for me and one for the kids so we could learn. And so it's only, I've only had it for like a week and that's just where it ended. And it's just become the default question of every podcast recording thing that I've done. Like, I think it's like for real nine out of 10 episodes of whether I'm on somebody else's or not. It's like, it's either how long have you been playing or what kind of guitar is that? And both answers are never, and I don't know. <laughs> so you should either learn how to play or put a giant Forbes statue right there, just so that that becomes the default question for all of your podcasts. So since some listeners, I know this is hard to believe, are going to be unaware that Damon Burton has an <laughs> SEO national podcast, because he's a Forbes contributor, go ahead and drop that. Can you see my name on the screen now? <laughs> okay this is gonna be one of our best difference makers discussion this is like we couldn't do this on a quote-unquote normal podcast so this is just real life this is you as a listener or as a watcher um, are taking a little tiny window peek into Damon and Bunny's relationship and our life on a daily basis when we're not podcasting all right. For real though. Okay. So the Forbes thing is, so Bunny and I met, it's only been like, like a month, <laughs> right? And we're BFFs already. So, um, I connected with Bunny. I saw she had like a, a podcast bio and I sent her a message said, Hey, um, I, I like your bio. Would you like to come be on the podcast or on the podcast? We had a great time. And then at the end, she's talking about like, have you ever heard of Marco Polo? And I'm like, no, I haven't. And she tells me about the app and she's like, you better get on it. And so uh, somewhere in the course of our discussion, it's like, you know, here's her background. Here's my background. And she sees that I write about marketing on Forbes. And so now it's just like this shtick for us where I'm the Forbes guy, even though I never say it. No, that's, that was not even, it's not even like that story was true up until like the last 10 seconds. <laughs> The last 10 seconds is that I asked Damon to do our Difference Makers Discussion teaser video. Oh. And Damon was doing the Difference Makers Discussion teaser video. I'm going to let you and get this like, out just, so I can prove it wrong. I just slipped it in. Maybe no. twice. No. Probably wasn't just once. once. It was twice that once. you slipped it in there. Once. And we're like, so when I was contributing for Forbes, no, before, or like, I before came from I was... nothing and now I'm a Forbes contributor. Okay. It was. I did say that, but you know why? Because do you, should I bring up the text message on here? Because I could probably find it. Because before I said that, I said, hey, Bunny, I don't know where this is going. Like, who's the audience? Would you like me to provide some credibility in my video? So they like, you know, maybe they go, oh, okay, this guy has some credibility. Do you want credibility, Bunny? Yes, that'd be great, Damon. So this is your own okay. doing. Well, so, so the Forbes contributor is probably now less credible because you're wearing a pink shirt. This is orange, but I'll, I'll go pink because I'm not insecure. 
and because we just blew your credibility of the fact that you're a poser with this guitar that I'm going to hold up on my hand right now, right? <laughs> See yourself in the face with your microphone. Why, why am I even on this? Why are we even talking right now? <laughs> So little known facts about Damon, he almost always has something stuck at his mustache <laughs> when we <laughs> are talking. Uh, he has gotten me absolutely hooked on this. And we're not we're not getting good, any huh? affiliate marketing for this. But, that's good, huh? So however, he he didn't disregarded the fact that I have a heart condition. And if you guys look at this, it has two hundred freaking milligrams of caffeine. So I almost died the first time I drank the whole entire thing. I feel like you're the only person with a heart condition that doesn't take responsibility for the fact that they know they have a heart condition. Like, how are you going to blame that on me? <laughs> I feel like, like there's like I a safe like not, coffee. Just, there's like a safe coffee. Damon, this wasn't a safe coffee. <laughs> no, it'd be like, if you what were you like, hey, you know there, what? Vodka? <laughs> no, I'm drinking the. <laughs> that was an awfully defensive no. <laughs> I'm drinking your keto coffee and then I'm also drinking honey lavender tea because like I told you on my text yesterday, I'm trying to balance them out. So I figure if I'm drinking lavender and like coffee, then hopefully my naturopath doesn't watch this and is like, so, um, I feel like we I have, need a nap like, already. Is, like, I feel like I just ran a marathon. Are we still going? Do, do you know on? that we have, do you know that? Yes, it's totally on. Do you know that we have like a song list now? We do. Tupac and, and Kurt Cobain. Is that what you're talking about? Okay. But we also, what, that was the one that, what was the one that you sent me yesterday of like, um, call me baby. That one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Car Carly Ray, Carly, Dray Carly Ray yes. Jepsen. Yeah. So we'll now have like a Bonnie and Damon song list. So we're going to make a soundtrack. What, how many songs do we yes. need? 12. I was going to, there was a song this morning that I was going to like. Wait, no, we got more than that. We got more than that idea. because you, you sent me Witchy Woman and then um, yes. there was one before that. You sent me three. All right. Something else that you need to know about Damon. He has a ridiculously hot wife. Very true. Finally, Bunny points out something accurate. I mean... <laughs> There were well, so first many you come in here like, and lie about, lie about me making a Forbes statement when it was you that was like, Damon, I need credibility because people don't believe me. So yes, bring Forbes, bring every, bring it all. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So we're, we're going to play this. We're going to play this for two minutes. And we're, no, I'm not I've getting never even heard of it. Wait, hold, hold on. To roast and to, I've never even heard of this. All right, let's do it. I have no idea what I'm walking into. I'm ready though. Or self deck. Okay. <clears throat> Is that really a deck? Bunny, you muted yourself. Did you hit mute on your mic, on your headphones? <laughs> Are you just messing there with me? There you go. There you go. You totally. No, I didn't. You were off. You were totally off. Pretty funny. Damon hits his head on the microphone. We didn't mute it. All right. Ready? I'm going to let you. Okay. So there's, really, there's a couple colors here. There's a couple, there's like a, a red and then a, a black side. So, yeah. or maybe they're all red. So I'm just going to pick a card for me and then I'm going to pick a card for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. You ask the waiter for their recommendations. Wait, how do we play first? <laughs> Okay, hold on. All right. For real, though. Uh, don't take yourself too seriously. This is meant to be fun. Worst self is meant to be played with three or more people. All right. So I'm going to need you to be multiple personality here. Um, well, we whoever celebrated their birthday the last. Yeah, we do. Who are... Guinness, you're playing. He's totally in on this. Whoever celebrated their birthday last is the narrator for the first round. Okay, so mine was October. You're uh, your narrator. Well, when was yours? June. Oh, shit. All right. Um, once the prompt is read, everyone gets one vote as to who they right. think. You have to be the narrator most... anyway. I don't have the cards. <laughs> All 
All right, once the prompt is read, everyone gets one vote as to who they think the most likely to do the worst self prompt. Uh, the narrator keeps tally of the votes. If there's a clear winner, the person gets the worst self card. If there's a tie, the people involved. One person who's the narrator rotates counterclockwise after each round. First person to collect eight cards is the worst self winner. So here's how we're gonna do this. You get to pick Steve, my husband, Aaliyah, your super hot, amazing wife, me, or you. You ready? Okay. You ask the waiter for their recommendations. You never take them and always order the same thing. That is 100% Aaliyah. That's okay. the definition so of Aaliyah. Aaliyah <laughs> I'm gonna say Aaliyah gets that card. All right, you ready? Here's your card to me. Okay, okay. You wait until you get to the counter to decide what you want. Just give that to Aaliyah too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll like pull up to Wendy's and she's not like, me. That's like, not me. That's not me. I we, have a list. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter where we go. Like the only thing they have is burger and fries. And she's like staring at the screen like, like there's, babe, we're not going to have anything new. Like, do you want a burger, fries, like, or like a grilled chicken sandwich? What is it? Hold on. <laughs> I really hope you play this for Aaliyah. Yeah. I may you. send you this, this deck. I for can't. You You're recording. Right, so. <laughs> well, it's going to be posted. All right. So um, this is Guinness's. You keep your phone sound on. That's me. You? I do that. Yeah. All right. Except for right now. Thank you. Okay. All right. Back to me. You don't let people get out of the subway or elevator before <laughs> you try to get on. Not, not, on, not on this side. That's, that's you or Steve. Not me. It's not me. What about Steve? It's probably Guinness. It's probably Guinness. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Guinness. You're on the board. Guinness. Get it. Like, I don't, like, I actually, it's probably a little bit me. Like, I, on a subway, I think it's because I spent so much time in New York. Like, on a subway, there's no, like, politely let people off, and you then you get on. And, it, <laughs> and in China, too, it's just, like, it, it's like Mortal Kombat to get onto the subway. <laughs> so. I've, seen, I've seen the videos. Video. I've seen the videos. All right, you click your pen like you mean business. <laughs> I'm going to say that's you. Is that you? Uh, I think it's, it's super annoying when other people do it to me. But I'm going to say it's Steve. I'm going I'm to give this one to Steve because he's ADD child. So Aaliyah has two. You have one. No, don't you have this? Oh, I got the phone. I, I figured, I was that like, was you the, the literally one the last one you just and put down. And then you down. have the one there. <laughs> All right, and then Steve has one. Um, is this is this yours? I got the phone one. The phone phone on. Phone ringing. All right, so on. that one was Guinness. So this one's mine. You somehow bring all the conversation back to yourself. Hmm. Forbes contributor. <laughs> Forbes contributor. I can't, I can't even say no to that one without making myself sound like I'm the guy. I'll just take it. Fine. Give it like to me. Like you're a giant bag of, you get the Lo card. Loveliness. You get the card. <laughs> Thanks, Bunny. I appreciate it's it. Really, it's, it's really that dude that we listened to the other day who kept name dropping like Dubai and like Saudi yeah. Prince and uh, yeah. it was really that guy. So he gets that card, but I'm just bringing it to you. Thanks. So, um, all right. So here's yours to listen okay. to read. You listen to music on your headphones loud enough for the other people to hear and recognize the song. That's my son. Should we bring him into this? No. <laughs> there was only like five of us playing. That's, that's not me. That's not me. That's not Aaliyah. Uh, that's Steve. And it's super annoying. Do you have it's any just cards? Annoying. What do you got? Of course not. Because the name of the game is Worst Self. And I feel like there should be a card that says something like in total denial. And then that's your first card. Well, okay. So Aaliyah has wait. You wait until you get to the counter to decide what you want. 
and you ask the waiter for the recommend. I took the elevator card. You know what? I took the elevator card. I gave it to Guinness, but I'll take the elevator card since my training in New York City. Ask anybody who's from New York or like a highly populated metropolitan city that you can't wait. The door will close. You will be left behind. It's Darwinism. I got nothing. Wait, I, leave, you're gonna, smiling I'm like funny you're you. wrong. I'm just going to leave you hanging on that one. <laughs> okay. Guinness's card is you always reply to all just because. <laughs> mm, definitely not me. Aaliyah will do it because she doesn't know any better, but not just because. Um, I feel like depending on the message, this is me. Like it's a, it's a passive aggressive like way of letting everyone know like there was no need to copy all of these people or that blind copying people is a better idea. So I will, I'll take that one. I'm tied with Aaliyah now. You went from, <laughs> from the end of the pack to a leader. Oh. What do we I, go to? Well, what do I did, we go first I to eight? Out. Yeah, we're not going to eight. We're going to go to four. So right now we're like literally all at two, except Guinness. Guinness is perfect. Um, you finished the food in the container, but put it back in the fridge anyway. Not me. Don't be looking at me. That's not me. You know what Aaliyah does? It doesn't matter the portion size. Like it can be this big or this big. And there's always one bite left. Doesn't matter. She leaves one bite. Aaliyah gets that one. <laughs> you just don't want to. You she, just. She was, I don't know. I will write my name on the freaking container. And like, what bugs me is like, people will eat my. You know what? Yeah, let's give that to Leah because you know what she'll do, is she'll. Bunny, why you keep hitting mute? What's the deal? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's you know because what? Rocky's best friend keeps calling on my phone. And so I need, uh, I need to like, turn. I, it's, it's on, we're not going to have a conversation about her right now. Cause I don't want to throw an eight year old under the bus, but when we're offline, I will tell you about this. Okay. So you do throw eight year olds under buses. <laughs> this particular one. Anyway, so Aaliyah will put. <laughs> <laughs> do we show the video of this or is it just audio? Oh no, it's a, it's a video okay, too. Okay, so people can just see so you get can... muted. All right, so my, you know what my wife will do? She will, she won't, if the food's all gone, but there's like condiment packs in there, she'll still put, <laughs> I give up on this topic. Buddy, let me know. No, we're going to, I'm up. going to airplane mode. Hold on, we're going to airplane mode. Is that going to kill your internet though? Is that how you're connected? No, you're not. That's going to kill your cell service, Bunny. You're going to kill your audio. Are you, okay, there we go. All right, we're in airplane mode and Wi-Fi is on. So you should be able to hear Wifi. me. Doesn't that defeat the purpose Wifi. of doing audio through your cell phone? Because now aren't you still consuming your bandwidth, but now on two devices? You know what, but I don't have to have an eight-year-old interrupt every 10 seconds because she wants to talk to my kid. You're the boss. Sorry, anyway, this one is you, yours. You humble brag. You are such a douchebag. <laughs> Did you read it? <laughs> he, he set this up. This is a staged. <laughs> Fine, give it to me. I'm not going to argue. I can't argue with it. Just this for makes the record, me look worse. You and Aaliyah are tied. You and <laughs> Aaliyah are tied. Crap. Next, this either one crap. of you. Oh. Uh, I want to pick a good one. I want to pick a good one. Um, <laughs> dude, do you have color in your hair or like a scarf on or yeah, something? It's that teal. No, it's the teal. <laughs> you you got a little green screen, uh, universe on your collar. Okay. I know how to make you fail right now, but we're going to modify this one instead of in your room 
say outside on the patio steps, Marco Poloing. You host a house party, then stay outside on the patio, Marco Poloing the whole time. I'm down for that. I'll take that one. <laughs> this this was another one. You flaunt your knowledge openly to, to anyone who will listen. Use jargon. Big. That is not me. That is not me. I'm an anti-jargoner. I I probably do it with Steve, but like, not 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 on podcasts and stuff. Um. So some other questions are: You take up two car spaces. You never clean your leftovers out of the work kitchen. Uh, you, you know what? For the ultimate fail, Damon Burton. Let's bring it home. You regularly take naps at work. And snore. I'm not getting that. Got it. No. Tell our talk about my naps, you, Where you take your naps. I take naps on my, on my kids. <laughs> I take kids. Uh, I, I take kids. And what are they called? <laughs> I take naps on my kids' what trampoline. What are they called? They're called tramp naps. <laughs> I'm so glad that I have confidence and self-esteem because... <laughs> otherwise i'd go lock myself in a closet after this recording <laughs> i'm gonna hang up and and Aaliyah's gonna go babe how was your call and but go, the whole point of like <laughs> can i swear am i swearing on this fuck yes okay all right thanks tell tell um uh, everybody what you got your wife for mother's day um i got her these really cool shirts well i got her a couple things so I got her these really cool shirts that are like mom life shirts. And then I also forwarded them to Bunny and Bunny bought some too because she knows that I got mad style. And so she's like, damn, Damon, that's a really good choice. But they didn't arrive yet. Has yours arrived yet? Mine didn't no. either. No. no. But you know what else I gave her? Um, because I'm a publisher for Forbes. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I couldn't help. I didn't take a, I didn't take a breather on that one. <laughs> no, no, but for real, for, for real though, this, this is so horrible. This is so horrible because I can't even really say this now. So I just wrote a book. <laughs> which, which is the truth. I finished it like two months ago, but now Bunny makes me look like a douchebag and I can't even mention it. And in the dedication, I thanked my wife. Hold on, hold on. I don't care if this is a douchebag. You can, you can suck it, Bunny. What are you I wearing show you white what I did. pants for? I got to show you what I did. What? White pants, orange shirt. White pants. Okay. No, it's, you said it's a pink shirt. White, white pants, pants, orange pink. shirt. Well, at least, your, at least your orange shirt matches your orange book. It does. Okay, for real though. For real, frills, frillsies. Okay, so I wrote this book. This okay. is what I gave. This is what I gave my wife for for Mother's Day. I gave her the first copy. Can you read the, the first dedication? No one knows patience as much as an entrepreneur's spouse. Thank you to my wife Aaliyah for her patience and unwavering belief in me over the years and being so hot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Minus the so hot part, but I should have put that in. Did, did you did you show the cover? Did you show the no, cover? No, because I'm not a douchebag like you say I am. <laughs> what are you gonna bring it up now? I'm not saying you're a douchebag. I'm saying we're all working for a living. Show the cover. <laughs> you already brought it up. You brought it up. What I gave my wife for Mother's Day. So so bought these cool shirts. Why is your and then I'm not muting then I, you. I know, I know. So I, I gave my wife these cool shirts, like these mom life shirts. Hold on, I'm gonna bring those up and, and tell you what they say here in a minute. Okay. And then um and then I gave her the first copy of the book. I wrapped it up and then put a little 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 heart next to the page, a little bookmark. And then um there's one other thing. What else did I give her? I don't remember. It's only been one day and I already forgot. A hug? That. I did give her hugs. Hugs. 
There you go. I was so right. worried we weren't going to have anything to talk about. No. So these shirts I got her, I got one for our neighbor too, Aliyah's friend. Um, so I got four shirts. Uh, one says, I run on coffee, chaos, and cuss words. And then another one says, uh, women's... Or Can you good. see this in my background? <laughs> I could see it out of the corner behind the pay. I got the little screenshot of my order on the side. <laughs> yeah. Is rigor mortis sitting in back there or what? I guess so. Um, and then I got one for... So the three I got for Leah, one says, I run on coffee, chaos, and cuss words. Um, another says, uh, good moms say bad words. And then another say, today's goal, keep tiny humans alive. And then I got another one for a neighbor that says, um, good moms say bad words. I'm some moms or something like that. Some moms say bad words. I'm some moms. Mm. There you go. I like the one that said, I gave up a lot when I became a mom. Cussing wasn't one of those things. Yeah. There were some good ones on there. I was surprised. Usually they're like cliche and might have one good one. There's a lot of legit good ones on there. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if they don't come. Okay, it doesn't matter if they don't arrive. It doesn't matter if they don't ship and arrive on time. Got it. Compared to the other things <laughs> that you have recommended for me to ship to individuals, I think those are the most. You totally own. You have owned that. Like, okay, so so I sent Bunny's got two, these whole two people. Bunny's got this whole like. Like she's trademarked the phrase bag of dicks. <laughs> and I know a website where you can you can ship a bag of cardboard penises. And so I sent Bunny a bag of dicks. And then she's like, this is the coolest thing ever. Now she's just a, a dick giving professional. <laughs> now it can't be it can't be anonymous it can't be anonymous anymore because you just told everybody <laughs> anybody, anybody in Bunny's network that just com- gets a bag of dicks. No, no, that's funny. <laughs> yep. And there's already been two people. Like there's already I, I you sent, sent you the screenshot. I know you sent I know you sent well, some and they knew it was you, but have you sent any anonymously? I've only sent two and both of them were immediately knew it was me. So, yeah, I'm going to try to take this off of do not disturb so that I can go back to using the cellular network. And I'm going to hope that the eight-year-old doesn't call me. I'm not going to say anything, but 31 missed calls in 20 minutes. Bunny, I feel like you should be embarrassed about your internet speed. I'm a little self-conscious about it. Thanks for bringing it up. Cool. Just making sure we're on the same page. (laughs) All right. So um, there's a link to Damon, (laughs) Forbes contributor, down at the bottom of the uh, page. Thanks for your time, buddy. It's been a pleasure. (laughs) And... um, and you also, can you tell people about your, your, um, my wrist pads, wristies? yeah, my wristies, is that what they're now called? You know, um, like the keyboard pads and they, mouse pads. Yeah. Tell them about your they, wrist Oh, pads. they are. They actually, you're right. They are called wristies. Uh-huh. I forgot about that. Wrist ease. Um, so I'm, you know, typing on the computer all day and I hate the little pad that moves around, but I like the pad so I don't get carpal tunnel. And then I found these cool little things. They're like little padded wristy thingies. You just put them on and then I don't have to worry about the stupid other thing moving around. There we go. I wonder who's still watching this far. Why are you guys watching? (laughs) Well, because we have all these amazing products that we're probably going to now need to get affiliate links. Um, So, all right. Well, you know, I appreciate you taking the time to make fun of me. I appreciate you taking the time to allow me to let everybody know the true human that you are, especially my hair. Uh, Make fun of my internet. I feel like if the listeners were to go back and score this like a boxing match, that I think that you've had more jabs. This internet is awful right now. 
All I can hear is you laughing at me. <laughs> it was so much better. It was so much better. It sounds ago. fine. That sounds fine. Is this how all your other recordings you're just, go? You're lying to me now. No, for real. That sounds fine. You haven't cut out or anything. You're lying. You're lying to me. You switched it. Now I got to switch your face again. I did. Pen. I switched it so that like now. <laughs> I was just doing it so that you have to, you have to, there we go. So I could be inconvenienced. So now, <laughs> I can see myself in two areas. Now your galactic yes, background went away. I did it so you could be inconvenienced, but I was hoping and yeah, well, you know, that's a thing. So I landed from, from earth. You brought me back to earth and that's, that's see the how we're going to end this now. call is that I'm going to go have some of the keto coffee that you recommended. I'm going to go read some of the Forbes articles that you wrote. I'm going to go Good start stuff. getting ahead. I'm going to get a head start on reading um, the Out, Outrank book uh, that you can get on Kindle and you can pre-order on paperback. And um, I'm going to expect my royalty check in the mail. You got it. Thanks, thanks, funny. I appreciate the time promoting Damon Burton from Forbes, who wrote a book called Outrank. <laughs> that felt like the most inauthentic. That felt like the most it was. All right, we're gonna end this difference must <laughs> difference makers dis I almost said different like mustache difference you know, makers discussion. This, before. this was either this was either yeah. the be your best right. recording Good or your or your worst one ever. <laughs> Only time will tell. <laughs> uh, I love you, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>